Hello, I'm Amy Gutman, president of the University of Pennsylvania, speaking to you from the Penn campus in Philadelphia. Thank you for joining us for the International Penn Media Seminar on Neuroscience and Society. This is the latest in a series of panels bringing to a worldwide audience a sample of the vast research expertise available at Penn. The University of Pennsylvania is uniquely poised to integrate knowledge in medicine, the natural sciences, and engineering. Penn has a long history of firsts, and in 1953, we established the first university-wide institute in the United States devoted to neuroscience. The brain and the mind continue to be a central focus of research at Penn. Today, we will offer you a first-hand look at the way Penn's faculty is enhancing our understanding of the brain. You will hear how new discoveries in brain pharmacology, cognition, and imaging are making neuroscience a dynamic and impactful field in modern scientific research. Thank you for joining us, and welcome to Penn. Thank you for joining us today for this Penn webcast. The topic today is neuroscience and society. And I think as you'll see, Penn has been at the forefront of dealing with the ways, or considering the ways in which neuroscience is overflowing uh, outside the clinic into uh, a number of different societal realms. My name is Anjan Chatterjee. I'm a professor of neurology and the uh, professor of neurology here at the School of Medicine. Uh, this panel this, uh, for this first session uh, will uh, include Susan Schneider to my left, who's in the Department of Philosophy. Uh, to her left is Dr. Jeff Aguirre, who's in the Department of Neurology. And to his left is Martha Farah, who's in the Department of Psychology.